Hello everyone. Today, we're delving into the world of a medication known as Orentia, which goes by the generic name Abatacept. As always, this discussion is for educational purposes only. If you have health-related questions or concerns, please reach out to a medical professional. Description Orentia, or Abatacept, is a medication used in the treatment of autoimmune conditions, primarily rheumatoid arthritis. It belongs to a class of drugs known as biologics or disease-modifying antirheumatic drugs, DMARDs. Orentia is designed to help regulate the immune system's response, specifically by inhibiting T-cell activation. This action helps reduce inflammation and joint damage in autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis. It is typically prescribed when other treatments have proven ineffective. Orentia is administered through intravenous, 4, infusion or subcutaneous injection. The 4 infusion is usually given in a healthcare setting, while the subcutaneous injection can be self administered by patients after proper training. In addition to treating rheumatoid arthritis, Orentia may also be prescribed for other autoimmune conditions such as juvenile idiopathic arthritis, in children over 2 years of age, psoriatic arthritis, and ankylosing spondylitis. It's important to note that Orentia does not provide immediate relief but rather works over time to manage and slow the progression of these conditions. Warnings before considering Orentia as a treatment option, there are important precautions to be aware of. It should not be used if you have an active infection, as it can suppress the immune system and potentially worsen infections. Additionally, individuals with certain medical conditions like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, or a history of multiple sclerosis should use Orentia with caution, and the benefits and risks should be carefully assessed by a healthcare provider. Before taking this medicine, before starting Orentia, it's crucial to inform your healthcare provider of any allergies you may have, especially if you are allergic to any ingredients in the medication. Be sure to discuss your medical history, including any recent or current infections, vaccinations, or surgeries. If you are pregnant, planning to become pregnant, or breastfeeding, consult with your healthcare provider, as the safety of Orentia during pregnancy and breastfeeding is not well established. Side effects Like any medication, Orentia can have side effects. Common side effects may include headache, respiratory infections, and reactions at the injection site. More severe side effects can occur, such as serious infections, including tuberculosis, allergic reactions, and liver problems. It's essential to be vigilant and report any unusual symptoms or side effects to your healthcare provider promptly. Interactions Orentia may interact with other medications or vaccines, so it's vital to inform your healthcare provider about all the medications, supplements, or vaccines you are taking or plan to take while on Orentia. This helps avoid potential adverse interactions. Dosage The correct dosage of Orentia is determined by your healthcare provider based on your specific condition and medical history. It can be administered through four infusion or subcutaneous injection, and the frequency of administration can vary. Always follow your doctor's prescribed dosage and administration instructions precisely to ensure the medication's effectiveness and safety. Avoid. While on Orentia, it's important to monitor for signs of infection and report them to your healthcare provider promptly. You should also be cautious about receiving live vaccines while on Orentia, as it may affect your immune response. Always consult with your healthcare provider before getting any vaccines or undergoing surgical procedures while on this medication. FAQ. Many patients wonder if Orentia can be used in children. Yes, Orentia is approved for the treatment of juvenile idiopathic arthritis in children over 2 years of age, but the dosing and administration should be determined by a pediatric rheumatologist. Closing That concludes our overview of Orentia, also known as Abatacept. Please remember that the information provided here is for educational purposes and should not substitute professional medical advice. If you have any questions or concerns about Orentia or your specific medical condition, don't hesitate to consult with a healthcare provider. Thank you for joining us today.